day in our U.S. history class, we were kind of flipping through our book, and we were looking at our book. Well, first of all, our book is the American Pageant, um, and this is our Volume Two book. And we were flipping through, and we were looking at all of um, these pictures of like civil rights stuff, and um, just kind of the overcomingness of how we went from you know people getting hosed down in Birmingham to having a black president. Um, and I read a couple articles on uh, the New York Times and in the Huffington Post that talked about why Obama was elected. Um, and one of the main reasons that people think he was elected was because he's black. And um, the reason, I mean, when he was elected, they had like the most, um, the most, like the largest amount of black voters um, that there had ever been, um, and when asked why they voted for him, most people said to make history, you know, we need to have our first black president, we can really have, um, um, I mean, we can really take a step forward in history by, uh, electing Barack Obama, um, and so now, um, a lot of people aren't going to vote for him because apparently he hasn't really done too much to help the country, even though he had, I mean, even though he's done some stuff, he's found Osama bin Laden and he really is helping out some stuff. But people think that now that they've made history and elected a black president, they don't really need to, to do, you know, he's out, you know, let's go back on to what we were doing before. And so my first thought when I was thinking about this was, okay, yeah, we want to make history. Well, then why didn't we elect, um... Hillary Clinton, when she ran, she's a woman, that would make history. Then I remember that there was a lot of baggage that came with her with the drama with um, Bill Clinton and all that stuff. So that makes sense. Um, first, that was interesting that we are, we've overcome our racial, well, overcome to an extent, our racial um, prejudices. Uh, now that we... Um, I mean, we've gone, come from not drinking out of the same water fountains or going to the same restroom to um, having, you know, um, an African-American leading our country. Um, and so I feel like the next thing that we really have to overcome is, um, like, the feminist revolution or, like, the women's revolution. And one thing that we, we thought was... One thing that in our history class we started talking about was um, when you hear the word feminist, personally, I have kind of a net negative view on it. And that's just because, um, like, it just sounds, you know, oh, I'm such a feminist, you know, women's rights and all this stuff. It just sounds kind of like too pushy, kind of. But when you look at the actual definition in our textbook about what a feminist is, it's not about women, you know, having more rights, it's just literally them having the same job opportunities, the same rights, all this stuff. Um, and in chapter 42 of our book, um, it says the feminist revolution, and it's talking up about how, or talking about how we were all caught up in the economic changes um, in the late 20th century, but um, no group was more um, affected than the women. And it has all these pictures of um, women today who are um, making just revolutionary changes in the economy and social values. Um, and just all these career possibilities are um, opening up and, there's, and we're really becoming more equal to men than we have been in the past. Um, so just one thing that I've thought about is that, I mean, we're, we're, um, as a country, we're growing in huge ways. Um, we've overcome the majority of our racial issues, um, and we're over, we're now overcoming our sexist issues. Um, and the next thing that we uh, hopefully will overcome is our homosexual issues um, where we can honestly have a 
air a country of uniform, you know, equality and just I mean the basic living rights for every person. Um um and so I mean just women in the workforce has gone up by a huge percentage um since I mean just since forever ago and now there's so many more women in office and I hope that um people I mean another woman will run for president and she'll um you know people will vote for her not just to make history but because you know she's the right one to do it and if there's a guy that's running um who's better than her then they should vote for him um we shouldn't just vote for someone to make history we should vote for them for to vote for them thanks